Hi everyone, John Paul Briones here from InMotion Hosting, and thank you for joining us for another video in our community Q&A series. This week's question came in from Nick. In Nick's question, he asks, can I create an autoresponder in webmail? And actually you can. So this week, I'm gonna show you how to create an autoresponder in webmail. All right, begin by logging into your webmail. Be sure to use your full user email address as your username. Okay, and you'll see when you log into webmail, it will say you're logged in as and, and give you your email address. That's the email address that this autoresponder will be set up for. And I just usually like to point that out so people see that. Uh, that they know which email address they're setting up the autoresponder for. Now down here you'll see there's an autoresponders button. So we're going to click that. Okay, and you'll see I have no autoresponders in this account currently. It says right there. If I did have an autoresponder, it would be listed there. So what I'm going to do is click the add autoresponder button here. And once again, this is convenient because People using webmail may not have access to cPanel where you can also create autoresponders. So this allows somebody who doesn't have access to cPanel to still create an autoresponder via their webmail. And this is the actual page to modify or add an autoresponder. And notice there's some fields here. We'll go over them quickly. Um, but you'll notice that uh, the first thing you're going to want to put in is um, the character set. I normally leave this alone because that's the character set that I normally use. If you want to change this for whatever reason, you can change it here. You'll see there's a lot of different options you could use. And then the next setting, which is uh, I get a lot of questions about, is this interval setting. And if you put your mouse over, it explains the number of hours to wait between responses. Sorry, the number of hours to wait between responses to the same email address. So essentially, if the same person emails you three times, it's not in, it's not going to autorespond over and over again if it's within the same period of time. So for example, if I set this to eight hours, if a person emails me three times within that eight hour time frame, they will only get one auto response. And this is good because you don't want to keep auto responding to the same people over and over with the same message. And then here you could put the from ad uh, from field. I normally put uh, the same email address, admin at. It's up to you though. Subject, I'll just say out of the office. And here for the HTML section, you can choose whether this body is going to contain HTML or not. Is For instance, if you wanted to put a tag or a logo in there, you could do it. You would have to use um, image tags, actual HTML to, to make those display. But keep in mind, if their email is set to not display HTML, they may not be able to see whatever tags you put in there or whatever formatting you put in there. So I'm just going to say John is out of the office. Oops, sorry. I will return, you know, uh, 7 slash 11 slash 15, for example, just to let them know. And then here at the bottom, you can set, if you want it to start immediately, choose immediately. It'll start as soon as you create the autoresponder. You can also set a custom date. For example, if you're going out of town for the 4th of July or something like that, you can set it to go, okay, from the 3rd until, you know, whenever you want it to get set, to start, I mean. And then same thing with the stop. You can say to never stop, and basically it'll stay there until you come back and remove this autoresponder. Or you can click the custom, same thing, have it stop on a specific date, for example, when you return from your vacation. I'm just going to have it start immediately, stop never, uh, just for the purpose of this guide. And then I'm going to click the Create Modify button here on the bottom. Okay, you'll see you have successfully created an autoresponder. Uh, if I'm going to click back, just to show you now, if you go to Autoresponders, you'll see my new autoresponder here. You can edit this one. You can also delete it once you're finished. So since I didn't create an end date for this autoresponder, I will have to come back and delete it later or edit it and actually change that, that end time. Now, when, now going forward, anybody who emails this email address will get that response that I just created. 
Thank you for joining us for another video in our community Q&A series. Feel free to like this video and leave your questions and comments below so we can bring you more great videos in a future episode. Thank you. See you next time. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? Something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.